so sad. Ich weiß, ich ziehe meine Hose auf. Nobody needs them. Oh, so much better. Wow. <lacht> Trash. Hello, everyone. Didn't say hello back. <laughs> Abort. Well, hello there. It is so hot right now and I don't know why. I mean, it is very hot in Berlin right now. For some reason, we already have the summeriest summer of them all right now. And I'm wearing this hoodie, but you know, it's just my style today. But you know, it's, it's very warm. <gasps> But what a great time to eat warm ramen. That is my transition to this week's topic. Honestly, I'm feeling a bit under the weather, but I think that is the perfect time to film this video because it's about ramen and ramen always warms my heart and makes me happy. And maybe it's a bit too warm for ramen, to be honest, but I think it's still gonna be good. <laughs> In this video, we're gonna test ramen trends that I found on TikTok, which I feel like this video is long overdue. I don't know why I'm filming it now. I mean, I do film a lot about ramen, but never this kind of topic. And there's always very interesting stuff on TikTok, especially about food, especially about ramen. So this is what this video is gonna be. So the first ramen hack we're gonna try is this shin ramen hack, where you eat your shin ramen as normal out of the cup. And then with the leftover broth, you don't eat it. Mm -mm -mm. You put an egg in it. I mean, you crack an egg in it. Don't put the whole egg. In. <laughs> then you put it into the microwave and you make the most savory, fluffiest, rich scrambled egg. To be honest, just the fact that we're making an egg in the microwave is already a bit of a crime, but I feel like we can excuse it for this hack because it has a purpose. If you don't know what this is, I personally think it's like one of the best instant ramen flavors. It's just sometimes a little spicy for me, like I really have to be in the mood for the spiciness, but in terms of flavor, it's really good. Like if you can handle the spice, this is the best one. This is just the cup version which means it has thinner noodles so they can cook quicker if you just pour some hot water on top but the normal one has thicker noodles but we're just gonna eat this now i guess i'm just gonna leave the cap on with the thoughts in mind that we're gonna put it into the microwave later i'm so smart i love my job <laughs> you know i'm just fulfilling my duty i do this for you guys <sighs> every day That's the leftover broth. I feel like in the video she had a bit more. This is like really not a lot. I'm gonna put the eggs in. Actually, it's two eggs, not just one. Ugh, why did I leave the lid on? It's so annoying. Oh, this fucking lid needs to come off. I'm so smart. Now a few sesame seeds and a tiny little bit of sesame oil. I never put too much of this because I quite think it can be overpowering. So just put a tiny little bit. Now you just mix it. Oops, the imposter. Now we're gonna put it into the microwave for about three to four minutes. What if it explodes? Because I took the lid off, there is no protection. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> just look how good this looks. It's so fluffy and bouncy. It has a bit of a weird consistency. If you can see that, it's like a little weird. Mm. <clears throat> that, that is so good. Mm, that is the smartest thing that I have ever witnessed in my life. It has a bit of a weird texture. It's a bit like watery, obviously, but the flavor, the flavor. Vincent, look what I made. Oh shit. Vincent's not here. What did you make? <laughs> it's eggs. Oh, she shook. <laughs> Try it. You like eggs now, don't you? Yeah, good eggs. It doesn't look good, but don't let the looks be deceiving. Oh, God. <laughs> Weird texture, maybe? But taste? Taste? Oh, sorry. Taste? Sesame. Do you like it or not? Yeah, it's good. Oh, it's so genius. <laughs> That guy made eggs for you. Do you want some eggs? No, not this food. You don't want, you do not want it? I'm pretty sure that I'm gonna do this all the time now, from now on, pretty sure. But now it's time for the next one. Next, we're gonna make ramen dumplings. I found this video and I just think there's nothing that could go wrong with this recipe. It involves ramen, it involves cheese. I don't know what else I would want in life. Oh, it looks so good. It looks like a cheesy pancake. <laughs> I want to eat it. 
Now, this is what you need. And you really just wanna dip it very, very quickly into some water. Oh no, it ripped. <laughs> Here's our rice paper. You can't see it, but it's there. And then we're gonna put some cheese there. And then obviously it's totally optional what noodles you use. I use my favorite Budak carbonara noodles. They're spicy, but they're okay. And that goes on top. Looking mighty fine. In the video, they also put a nori sheet. I'm not a huge fan of that, so I'm just gonna leave it like this. More cheese. Now we fold it over. Oh, I think I put way too much in. Don't rip it. Wow, what a big package. <laughs> okay, now we just put it into the oiled pan and we're gonna make it crispy. I think it should be hotter when you put it in there. <laughs> Guys, I think this honestly looks so good already. Maybe it's already done. I don't know, should it be even more brown? Let me just do what all the cooking people on TikTok do. <laughs> I mean, it's not that pretty actually. Maybe it got a little bit too brown. The other side is also not that pretty, to be honest. But I feel like it's just the insides that count. It is still so hot, but here it is. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Yeah, it's good. Maybe it was in there for too long and the cheese is just not stringy anymore. I don't know. For some reason, I expected more. But definitely a good snack. Approved, but not obsessed. My roots look so funny in the viewfinder because it's just this huge dark spot right here. I just gave Vincent the rest of my ramen dumpling and he actually really liked it. Didn't get it on camera. I swear I never get things on camera that he likes. But he said he actually likes it more than the shin ramen souffle. I definitely like the eggs better. But you know, each their own. Or maybe I'll just have to try it with different kind of ramen. I feel like there could be better ramen out there to be put into this dumpling. But let's get into the next one. One. So the next one is probably the most disturbing out of this video and I personally don't think it should exist I feel like many people don't want it to exist and it is ramen lasagna I don't know why people thought of this. I don't think this is an actual recipe people are just so creative <laughs> I also knew that I wouldn't be super hungry now to make a whole freaking lasagna So I made it yesterday you know just cooking for the family just providing for the kids <laughs> so let's oops so let's go back to yesterday i actually still want to put a little bit of effort into my lasagna so i'm gonna attempt to make a bechamel sauce i'm gonna start by making a roux out of flour and some melted butter and then you gradually want to add some milk in there and then more milk and more milk but keep stirring that's basically it just add your spices a little bit of salt a little bit of white pepper and don't forget the nutmeg and then you're just gonna let it simmer for another five minutes but that's basically it that's your bechamel sauce. Yay. Okay, so I got these mama noodles because I think these are the best because they're the thinnest. I couldn't get any yum yum, so it's gonna be mama. I got the lazy lasagna sauce. We're gonna put a bottom layer of this. You can't split these. <laughs> I thought you can split these in the middle. Another layer of tomato sauce on top. I forgot that I wanted to add this too. Let's just add it on top now. It's gonna be our seasoning. <laughs> Seems natural. Now comes the bechamel sauce. I think in the video they just use sour cream or something, but we're gonna do it the bougie way. Then some gratin cheese. <laughs> Do not forget your delicious mama spice this time. Damn, this is a lot. <laughs> Why am I making so much? Oh no, I ruined my shirt. At least my bechamel sauce is laying boots the house down. <laughs> Looking good. It's in there and it's gonna stay in there for, I don't know, 20 minutes? I actually have no idea. Uh, it's done. It's dinner time. Oh, I already ate. So much. <laughs> what is it? So much. Who is this hipster? You look like you live in Hanofa. Mmm. It's definitely. <laughs> it looks so good. <laughs> Yummy. If you get some of the noodles from underneath, which is quite soft, with a little bit of the hard noodles on top, it makes quite a nice texture. I think I can eat this for dinner. Yeah, sure. I'll probably feel bad afterwards, but... I will never make this again. Good. 
It's edible. I have to say it was not as bad as I thought it would be. Not bad, but it was also not good. Not good. This is definitely nothing that I would recommend you to try. I think you saw everything now that you saw me making it. I think that's totally enough. And I can already smell the Italians in my comments. I didn't think of this recipe, okay? I, I didn't invent it. I just made it, please. Mi dispiace. <laughs> Hey, Katie girl. No. The next thing we're gonna do is this shin ramen hack. We're gonna get the shin ramen back out. It seems to be very popular in this video, but we're gonna mix it with some Campbell's mushroom cream soup. That's apparently some kind of American mushroom soup. Like we do not have this here. So I have to think of a Campbell's mushroom soup substitute. I can imagine this to taste like really good because of the creaminess of the mushroom soup with the spiciness of the shin ramen. Let's see if I can dupe this recipe with German ingredients. <laughs> so here's my dupe. The Knorr Feinschmecker. It's like some kind of powder and I have to make this soup. So this is probably the easiest mushroom soup you'll ever make because I'm literally just gonna do that. This is obviously not gonna be as creamy as the Campbell mushroom soup. This is gonna be way more watery. And in the TikTok, they did like half Campbell soup and half Shin Ramyun broth. So, you know, oops. Sorry, sorry buddy. Maybe I should have made it with milk. This does not look creamy. Okay, so I put a little bit of cream cheese in there and I feel like it has a good consistency now. It's still not creamy creamy, but it's a bit creamy. And I mean, we still need enough liquid to boil our noodles in. So I think we have a good base now. And we can now add our shin ramen. Let's just put that in there. And I feel like we're just gonna put half of the soup base in there because I feel like the mushroom soup by itself is already very umami. And I don't want it to be like super overpowering. I feel like this recipe actually has such a potential. Now we're just gonna let it boil for like five minutes. Just look at how good this looks. It's so creamy. Oh my God, it turned out so perfect. And it looks exactly like in the video. I'm so happy. <laughs> This is exactly how you would imagine this to taste like. This is so perfect. Oh, I love mushrooms. I love creaminess. I love noodles. I love instant ramen. It's just all the good things come together. It even tastes a little bit like cheesy because of the cream cheese that I added. Oh my God, guys, you have to make this. I'm so sorry for the eating noises. This is the worst noodles that you could ever eat for eating noises. Oh, sorry for... <laughs> I will 100% make this again. 1000%. I added the exact right amount of everything. <laughs> I'm getting so emotional. The problem is I'm just so full. <laughs> I ate so much. <laughs> I brought Vincent so he can try the best noodles in the whole wild world. Now I need a new style. I just used this to get something out of my teeth. Thank you. You look like an ASMR person. Mm, yeah. Oh, spicy. Spicy. I think every ratio is perfect in there. Or something that perfect, like the soup on your nose. Mmm! 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 Oh, mushrooms. Let's get sickening! <laughs> These noodles really get me hyped up. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Ah. Are you ever gonna make them again? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. But you have to get the knorr soup, otherwise it won't be the same. No. Is it knorr? Knorr! Knorr! <laughs> good night, guys. Listen to some good music. What a good dish. But I'm sweating now. All these noodles really got me sweating, especially in this sweater. That's why it's called sweater, because I'm sweating in it. I actually have one last ramen thing that I found on TikTok, and it is this one, which is birria ramen. So birria is some kind of tacos, like you actually eat birria tacos, and that means it's like some tacos that you dip into some really rich, juicy broth. 
The dish is a meat stew or soup traditionally made from goat meat, but occasionally beef from maid. What? So apparently the birria is like actually how the meat is made. I think the meat was cooked in this broth. That's why it's so rich. And that's just a very popular TikTok taco anyway. TikTok taco. <laughs> but recently I found this video where they made birria ramen, which is also this birria meat and the birria broth. But you got some ramen noodles in there and some extra cheese, melted cheese, and it looks so good. But this is very, very hard to find in Berlin. I actually found one restaurant, but they closed. Now I found something else, but I'm not quite sure if they actually have it. I know they have birria tacos, but I also saw them have birria ramen. So it's kind of uncertain if this will really be there, but I'm still gonna go to this place and check if they have it. It's so empty. I've been here before actually, and I also ate tacos before, and they didn't have birria tacos, so I'm a little nervous. Well, I guess I could have looked it up beforehand, but the birria tacos are only available on Sundays. They only make it on Sundays. And I was just very sad because I knew I wouldn't have enough time to come again on Sunday. And also she said that the guy who once cooked the birria ramen at their place doesn't even work there anymore. So that means no birria ramen for me anyway. I bought some tacos to cheer myself up, which honestly kind of worked because I think these are one of the best tacos in Berlin. And I also bought this dessert called Tres Leches which is a cake soaked in three different kinds of milk and it was so good and so juicy and I just honestly this cake alone made this trip worth it. It is very hard to find birria ramen in Berlin. Maybe there's other places but I just didn't find them. I mean the girl from the taco place said they actually had it the birria ramen but the guy who used to make it there is not there anymore and he's gonna start his own place where he sells it so maybe one day I can go there. Hit me up please whoever you are. <laughs> the thing is I just didn't want to end this video like this so I just had another look on TikTok if I could find something else and I actually found something very <laughs> interesting which is this video where they order ramen from a private house from a private person and he puts the ramen in a bucket and then just lets the bucket down and that's how they get their ramen <laughs> and it's like a kit and you just put it all together at home and make it fresh at home home but it's still freshly made from that day so i actually found the guy who sells his bucket ramen and he's from food technique berlin his name is christopher and i messaged him if it's possible that i could just pick my ramen up from his bucket that sounds so naughty <laughs> and he said it's actually going to work out and i can pick it up tomorrow so i hope with this bucket ramen i can get over my birria ramen fail but let's go and get some of that bucket <laughs> Your nature behave like it. We're just going to the apartment and then I'm gonna ring his bell and then he's supposed to give me the ramen. I'm walking backwards now. Swinemünder Street, it is. I can see the bucket, do you see it That's... too? That is the infamous bucket. I'm so excited. Yeah, you have to pre-order the ramen on Instagram, on his Instagram, and then you can come in a specific time period. Uh, hi. Hi, it's me. <laughs> I think he speaks German, but we talked in English, so now I have to keep talking English. instructions. <laughs> <laughs> Instagram, how to prep it. Uh -huh, I already saw it. Uh, perfect. You're gonna see everything in my video. Sunday. Sunday, perfect. Okay. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye. Soup and toppings. I'm I ordered the soup. You're the topping. I'm the top. <laughs> we are home and it's time to eat our ramen. Right here we have Vincent's ramen. We know that because the V stands for Vincent. And this is mine. This is just the shoyu ramen. I think it's with uh, chicken and chicken broth. And this is mushroom shoyu ramen, which is the vegetarian version. And on their website, you can see the instructions how to warm this up because this is just a kit. It's still cold and we have to warm it up. This is my broth. Here are the toppings that 
egg, onions, the meat. Here's Vincent's. It's just soy sauce. <laughs> it basically looks the same, just that this has... <gasps> that also looks like meat, Vincent, but it's probably mushroom. But honestly, it's very self-explanatory. All you have to know basically is how long to heat up the noodles or to cook the noodles and that you're not supposed to rinse them. I think that's the most important part. And do not boil the soup. I think it's grease. Oh yeah, it's probably like chicken fat or something. We have to heat up the other one in a pan because we don't have enough pots. Vincent unwrapping his gifts like it's Christmas day. <laughs> a generous amount of meat. <laughs> they cost $16, aka 16 euros. <gasps> <laughs> oh my god, I have it! Attention! Oh nee, so nicht! Nein! Du lässt es langsam Dings nicht. Ich hab ja nicht so viel Platz hier. Oh my god, we're connected! Okay, let's top. Meat. That's a generous amount. Let's see how perfect that egg is. Ooh, it looks really good. I have to say, it definitely is not a lot. Normally when I eat my ramen, I definitely like have more. So it's like up to here. <gasps> Mine looks so much better than yours. Yours doesn't look that marinated. Ah, I'm full of egg white. Mm. That's egg yolk. Wow, nice. Now me. <laughs> Pineapple The noodles are so good! There's just nothing better than freshly made ramen noodles. I do have to say, when it comes to ramen, I do like the usual pork broth better because the chicken broth kind of just reminds me of like a German chicken broth. <laughs> How do you like your broth? I really like the mushroom. I'm not sure about the broth. It has like this metallic flavor. <laughs> I really like your broth. <gasps> yeah, real much. Really much. I think that's the best veggie broth I've ever tried <gasps> in a ramen. Try again, Vincent. Okay. Very good chicken, but it's also just chicken. The chicken? I'm happy to announce the metallic flavor is gone. <laughs> Yay! The usual ramen we get in Berlin in a restaurant costs 14 and 13 euros. So honestly, it's not even that much difference between the 16 euros for this one and the 14 euros for the other one. It's two euros more. But you get a little bit more. You do get more. So my verdict is, I think it's a fun experience. It was super easy to organize. Like there's a lot of really good parts about it. Just the portions could be a little bit bigger, but support small businesses. So that was everything for my ramen TikTok recipes and hacks. I liked everything. I mean, obviously the birria ramen fail was very, very disheartening. Obviously I have to say that my favorite recipe was the mushroom shin ramen because <laughs> But to be honest, everything that I made in this video was good. We can discuss about the ramen lasagna. We're just gonna ignore that one. But everything else was just so cool. It's so good. It's so fun. Always keep sending me recipes and stuff you want me to try on TikTok and on Instagram because I feel like a lot of these recipes actually came from you because you wanted me to try them. So this really helps. This really actually makes me happy and maybe also you. So we're a good team. Don't forget to follow me on all of my social media, which is Naomi John on Instagram. Naomi John on TikTok. And Naomi John on Spotify. Okay, that is a little bit crazy, I know. But I'm just not that active on Twitter anymore and I want to be more active on Spotify. So is it too crazy, guys? Am I being too crazy or is this maybe good? Thank you guys so much for watching and I will eat you in my next video. Mm -hmm. Goodbye. Love you.